Hello, all over the world. I'm Jeff Teague. I'm right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're gonna to be talking Tundra, specifically a 2021 Tundra Limited. I'm gonna talk about configurations while still showing you key highlights, features, benefits, buttons, dials of this Crewmax two-wheel drive Limited. Tundra, you are one bad mother. So you can get this in Crewmax two-wheel drive, Crewmax four-wheel drive. You can get it in double cab two-wheel drive and double cab four-wheel drive, four choices. Probably the first thing I'd want you to know is about the engine performance. And you'll see this across the board, regardless of trim level, you're gonna see a 5.7 liter V8 engine. It produces 381 horsepower and 401 foot pounds of torque, okay? We got that going on. And then it's matched with a six speed automatic transmission. This one here has a beefed up battery and alternator. It also has tow haul mode. This particular one can tow 9,400 pounds. And then if you get different configurations, you could get anywhere from 8,800 to 9,100 to 10,100, depending on one of those four configurations that I just told you about. Let's look around, of course, limited. When it has that limited badge, this is the top of the food chain, the luxury vehicle, the luxury trim level, and then the Crewmax. That is a gigantic back seat and a five and a half foot bed. That's the only configuration you can get. You can't get a 6.5, you can't get an 8.1 foot bed. It's 5.5. But look as we circle around this, you're gonna see chrome accents, bumper, front grill, the lighting, and then just kind of pay attention to the wheels. We'll go into detail about that, but I just kind of want you to get a lay of the land so you know what Tundra is all about. This is tough, it's rugged, it's dependable. And most importantly, with the Toyota badge, you know that you're gonna be getting a really good shot at long-term dependability and reliability and toughness. All that jazz that I just mentioned, you know that you've got it. This thing will go for hundreds of thousands of miles. I hear stories all the time from people who have a 2001, a 2007, something like that. 2012 with lots and lots of miles on it, still going strong. Very proud they are. What would I want people to know, people researching this vehicle or maybe who already own it? Number one, it's got a premium package on it. So that's gonna add in things like front and rear parking sonar. It's gonna add in the blind spot monitor that is not standard on the vehicle. Now, what is standard on the vehicle? We've got chrome mirror caps, chrome plated door handles. We'll get close-ups, chrome badging. This has ventilated disc brakes in the front and the rear, 13.9 inches, 13.6 inches. Standard on this limited, a 38 gallon fuel tank. The fuel, 13 in the city, 17 on the highway, combined to 15. Let's go in closer at the profile and kind of hone in on those 20 inch alloy wheels. They're two-tone with a dark gray and polished metal alloy. And then you can see these are 275-55 R20 tires. The W drop step, they call it W. Just imagine the shape of a W. Those are optional, but they're an easy way to step up and they kind of look cool. All right, let's look at the meerkats, not the meerkats. We'll go to the zoo for that. The door handles, the limited plating. Just look inside here. Holy smokes. It's a huge back seat. All right, so what do you think of the profile? Let's flip this around and get the next angle. Before we do that though, I do wanna show you the interior. Just a quick glance so you can kind of get a feel for the vibe going on in here. Let's go on in. You'll see leather seating. This is ash gray. Leather seating with a 10-way power adjustable driver seat and a six-way power adjustable passenger seat. One of the components of weight loss, right here, my sport bottle. I drink two of these every day and it tells me where I should be at for each one. Right now, I think I'm right on schedule. It's about 9.30. We're doing good, we're on schedule. I suggest you buy it, it's on my Amazon top picks list. So just click on the link and purchase it, pretty easy. It's less than 20 bucks. Look at this huge back seat, everyone. I've never seen anything that big. 
All right, and then just a quick glance. The sun's gonna be kind of blinding us, I think. No, it's okay. Just wanna show you the interior real quick. All right, now the outside. The real trick for Tundra here is to kind of give everybody a combination of luxury with strong toughness. And I think they did that real well. You'll see the chrome accents all the way through the entire grill with the horizontal accents here. This has Toyota Safety Sense, so it'll have pre-collision system that picks up and detects pedestrians during the daytime, lane departure alert, radar cruise control, and automatic high beams. The ground clearance, 10 inches on this one. Other trim levels have a little bit higher ground clearance, but this is 10 inches. And I think it looks fantastic with these LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. And what do I mean by that? Look at these. LED headlights, daytime running lights, fog lights. Kind of hard to do it from this angle because of the sun, but I wanted to flip it around for everyone so that you could see it in a dark exposure. So not the best camera angle. There's no real good way to do that. The back of the vehicle features an integrated backup camera right here. Let's see how it lowers. It doesn't slam down. Just does it naturally and slowly. Now look at this here. This has a spray on bed liner because we added it. This is not from the factory that way. Normally it'll just be color coded. So it's going to be that magnetic gray color, but here I can jump on it. I can throw cement blocks down on it. We'll take a closer look and you can see the deck rail system along three sides. So that way you can put cleats in right here and that way you can tie things down or strap them down you'll also see this is even sprayed the strap holders <laughs> yeah i can't think of the word i hate when i can't think of a word and i it's real easy they just got i call them tie downs but anyway this is what the spray on looks like you can see my iphone 11 something it's 11 something i don't know what it is I forget. It also comes with the four and seven pin connectors. And then this right here, front, no, rear parking sonar. Yes, rear parking sonar. Like a rock, oh, like a rock, like a rock. Can't help you guys. I love Bob Seeger. I'm from Detroit, holla. Let's talk about passenger space. Clearly, if you get a double cab, you'll have less passenger space but you'll have a little bit longer bed to do work. Now, this is with the seat all the way back and reclined. Look at that, plenty of room. That is incredible, you guys. And the headroom is good. I'm five foot eight, plenty of room. This one will clearly fit three people across. Car seats, boosters, I don't think they'll have a problem as well. Now, look at this. This is with the average seat. This was my seat setting right here for five foot eight. Look at all that room. That's cray cray, yo, cray cray, crazy. Also, these are the tie down cleats that you can put with the deck rail system and strap them down. Let's talk about how you get more cargo space. Got to lift the seats up. Here you go. So we've got a good amount of room here. I'm going to boot that seat forward. So we're going to get creative here, guys and gals. If it's just you and you're needing to move stuff, you can stack boxes up here, stack crates up here, and then we'll move this one too. There, look at all that. That's a lot of space. It's a lot of space. I wonder if anybody has ever tried this before. I hope the seats don't break. Look, I'm planking. What an idiot. One thing I do want to point out, this was added as an option, this power moonroof. So, it's not going to be standard, so don't expect it. But when you order one or when you pick one out, you're gonna have to suggest that you want that. By the way, where are the oblique handles? One right here and on the other side and then up here and then right over here. Oh, bleep. So here's what the interior looks like. You can see the faux wood grain right there. Gigantic storage bin. All right, 
That'll give us a lay of the land right there. And then there's that power passenger seat with lumbar support that I was telling you about. It's a six way, so it can adjust forward, backward. It does not twist, does not go up and down, but it goes back just like that. And then lumbar support there. So, so you can not go up and down. You'll want to know that. Look at these storage pockets here for drink holders. You can see some sport bottles, some soda bottles, some pop bottles, depending on where you're from. I'm from Michigan. It was always pop. Came down to North Carolina. Soda. Try to figure out. I don't even know. I'm told that in some parts of Georgia, you ask for a Coke and they'll say, well, what kind of Coke do you want? Is that true? Or am I just hearing things? Let's look. I don't know what you'd put in that pocket there, but maybe something. My wife would probably put chapstick in there. I don't know. Let's look inside the bin. It fits an owner's manual. Fits business cards, pens. What's that? Tissues? But it's huge. 12 volt circular port. And then down here, we've got extra buttons, including USBs, three USBs there. Traction control on and off. Parking sonar the security light, and then a 12 volt circular port. It's time for the driver's side. Window adjustments. Here's your hood release, the back light, automatic high beams, your brightness of your dash, and then whether you want the interior lights on, mirror adjustments, this is the power rear window. You get that always on Crew Max. All right, a leather wrapped steering wheel. I like that. Here's our 10 way power driver's seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we twist, nine, 10. That's how you get your 10 way, which is different from three way. Let's look up here, the moonroof controls. Got our sunglass holder. And then we've got lighted mirrors. Does it slide? You can slide it. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. That way the sun won't get in your eyes as easily. Eight inch multimedia touchscreen. The significant thing about this particular touchscreen is it does Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa. This one has been upgraded with the JBL package. That gives you 12 JBL speakers and an amp. It's pretty cool. That's part of the premium package, which I believe the window sticker will show to be around, I think it's 2,800. I gotta look at the window sticker, 2,800. Let's go with that one. But it's pretty kicking sound for a vehicle this size. Let's see, who's gonna be the first person to tell me I need to get gasoline? I'm sure it'll be happening. Let's go through this. Digital speed. If you go outside your lane too much with lane departure alert, you'll see that. Oh. See plane. See plane. So those are some of the controls that we can see. Here's what it looks like. That's the dynamic navigation system. It updates in real time from the cloud. I don't want the radio on because of copyright. I know I'm stuck in the eighties. Rat round and round you like 80s music hair bands maybe heated seats this controls where the air comes out but it's digital dual temperature controls which i like let's look at the window sticker so we can see specs and pricing i think it's always important to show a window sticker where i can limited crew max two-wheel drive made in san antonio texas here are the safety ratings the fuel mileage i told you about if you get a two-wheel drive limited crew max you're going to have a sticker price from the factory 44,255. oh i was so wrong about that premium package 1535 why did i say 2800 i have no clue the power moonroof 850. let's look at some of these options here we've got performance and safety feel free to stop the video so you can look on your own exterior interior so we're going to take that add in those two options I like that premium package. 
I don't know why I was so off on the pricing. You'd think I'd have a lot of figures and stats to remember. 48,000 once you get delivered. And then this has the drop step running boards, paint protection along the door seams, and that'll put you at 49,000. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me at Toyota Jeff One on Instagram. Plane coming. Facebook, Toyota Jeff. I'm on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. Also, my writing, twerknews.com slash Toyota. Please check out my website, toyotajeff.com. Check out my Amazon top picks list in the description section. Holla! Thank you guys so much. Please hit subscribe and that little crazy bell. Hit that bell. Ring that bell. So that way you'll be notified when I come out with a new video so you can see just how corny, how dorky, how stupid it is. Thanks guys so much. I hope I've helped you learn and be a little bit entertained. See you next time.